What do you envy about the opposite sex? Peeing on the side of the road slash in the forest without crouching and trying to avoid your pants slash shoes. Edit. Okay I appreciate things like the shoe exist and may consider getting one if I take up more hiking in the future. However I'd still rather just be able to whip my parts out and do it without equipment. And nettles. So far I've had 14 nettle peeing incidents happen to me. You didn't learn what they looked like after the first 13 times? They look like nettle squats down yes. They are nettles. I'm jealous of girl because they get to wear dresses. Todd Flanders. The Simpsons. Just chest strength. Opening a jar. Easy. Lifting this heavy misplaced thing. Wham. Bam. Done. Oh. Gotta dig a hole? Lem just use my bare hands because I gotta put all this testosterone to use. I was in discord call and everyone was listening to this girl struggling to open a Gatorade bottle. Hash weak. Not having a D that is randomly turn on at any given moment of the day. As an older dude, let me warn you, careful what you wish for. As a dude on SSRIs, seconded. As a dude also on SSRIs. Somehow I get both. It's up when it shouldn't be. But never up when it's go time. My life is fun. No periods. Free to grow body hair. Prostates. Edit. Also. Just remembered that men usually have awesome eyelashes for no reason whatsoever. What's up with that? I'm a guy. I've lost count of the number of women who have been jealous of my eyelashes. Finger nails for me. Which is hilarious, because I do a lot of dirty work with my hands, and generally have dirt and or grease under them. They'll never know the pain of going to sit on a bike seat on a particularly warm day, and pinching your balls. As a kid you would be in a hurry, to get to Billa's house and you would hop on the seat and smash your balls with the force of Gallagher's hammer. Don't want kids, and can't afford a vasectomy, sledge matic I know both sexes can do this, but getting a whole bunch of your friends and sit while people are getting the dead skin off your hands and feet. Cleaning and fixing your nails. My wife dragged me once, and I really liked it. But none of my guy friends want to do it. I thought it'll be something cool in our usual sit at a bar drink beer thing. You could go with your wife again. I'd go with that guy's wife. Hell yeah. Her treat. As a girl who goes to the gym I envy how naturally strong men are, and how it's easier for them to build muscle, I know it's different for everyone. But in general, I wish I could lift as heavy, and I know I could do it, but I'd need to train harder slash longer. My ex is super jealous of that. I started climbing again with her, and started seeing improvements almost instantly. I started off at approximately her level, but within a couple sessions I had already passed her and had noticeably larger muscles than when I started. She was so angry about it. Yeah. Unfortunately for women. We men really do have physical advantages in most things. Except for maybe flexibility. Women do recover from near maximal efforts considerably faster than men. This person fucks. That they can pee standing up. Women will never know the satisfaction of pinging things off the inside of the toilet with incredible precision and a strong stream. Pissing off the streaks of S is the best. Touch it with sport commentary and voila. Men get actually functional jumpers that have sensible necklines and can put a t-shirt underneath. And shirts that actually cover their lower back when they sit down. They have a lot more options on what to wear in an office. Us men have one option only. Shirt and trousers. I feel sorry for men in the summer when they still have to wear their full suits, but women are able to wear skirts. I remember being on a cruise and there was a dress code to enter the seated dining area, but women could pretty much wear what they wanted, and men had to wear pants. There was a couple wearing the same outfit, khaki shorts and yellow polos, and the wife was allowed in, while the husband was sent away to put on pants. One of the guys I was with didn't pack pants, it was a Caribbean cruise, so he wore a pair of his girlfriend's yoga pants for dinner every day. It's like wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid sexy Flanders. <laughs> Receiving compliments from both genders when post a picture. If I post a selfie on Facebook I'm gonna get 50 likes from the brothers but zero comments. I made a post and the only comment it got was one of my friends saying you. No other context. You. 
Soldier Boy tell em. A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A I love all the bright bright colors women can wear and have available to them. I wanted some pink converse and had to get a woman size 13 or something. I have bought shirts in the thrift store and taking them home and my wife is like that's a blouse eat it. Haha this blew up. To the people that say wear what you want, even if it's a blouse I absolutely 100% agree. Except. And I only have my own experience with a few pieces of clothing. Women's tops are sometimes cut weird. Trim at the sides and then hanging down at the front. They also are sometimes a new HM weird material. Not like the shirts I buy that gets all wrinkly and whatnot in the dryer. As I said somewhere down there I'm essentially lazy. I would love the floral patterns and bigger polka dots and cool designs just transferred to a men's shirt I know will fit properly. If I had a smaller frame I absolutely would. You always hear about Bowie or Prince wearing their girlfriend's clothes and I totally get that. But yes wear what you want. I obviously do. I have a small collection of 60s and 70s where I have bought specifically because it looked awesome and it looks like some women's clothing does now. Prince whipped the s out of Charlie Murphy playing basketball lol while wearing a blouse and then served him pancakes. Game blouses. Flowed slowly down from the rim. They get to wear little mini skirts. But the second my balls are dangling in the wind. People lose their shit. Got a tuck bro. Tuck them into your butthole. You just made me read that with my own eyes. Well it would be weird if you read it with someone else's eyes. I seriously envy her orgasm. Yep. Lasts about 2 seconds for me. Then I'm done. There's ways to extend this through breath work and muscle tensing. It works. Edit. Lots of questions on technique. It takes practice. But start with male kegels to strengthen your pelvic floor. Tensing those muscles as you approach orgasm helps the ride last longer. Also, take deep breaths while you are coming to the edge of orgasm and try to breathe through the sensation. This both heightens and prolongs the orgasm experience. Breathing is key. Holding your breath which most people do, makes the orgasm shorter. Deep breaths make it longer. Right after the initial wave hits. Keep stimulating your pee through micro movements. Easier if you are masturbating vs having sex. But works either way. You know the overstimulated response where even a small touch almost hurts. Touch just enough to that spot to create pleasure. But not so much that it overdoes it. Some strokes or squeezing just to the side of the head usually work. Over time. This reduces post nut don't touch that sensation and increases orgasm duration. I practice this while masturbating and usually during sex and frequently experience shaking orgasms that go on wave after wave for at least 30 seconds. Feels like an eternity. I've had a couple of partners remark they wish their orgasms were so intense. 10 tenths would do the work once they realize the benefit. Side note, anal stimulation and prostate orgasms are a different thing. But omg 11 tenths would do that again. Okay. 3 whole seconds. That's a 50% increase in performance. I'd take it. Last time I matched with someone on Tinder was in April. They unmatched me in an hour. Before I even saw the notification. Edit. Fear not my only friends. I took some advice from this thread. And expanded my bo. And I got another match. But it happened. For that brief moment in time you made it. They can never take that away from you. Thanks bro. This reminds me of the only relationship I ever had in life. I was in the 5th grade and was basically where I peaked in life and this really cute girl that all the guys liked had her friend ask me to go out with her at lunch. This girl was smiling at me from her seat among her 10 year old girlfriends and they were staring at me and giggling and I was so overcome with excitement. Adrenaline. And nervousness that I just quickly nodded my head to say yes to her friend. I think it was a day or two later at lunch when her friend came up to me and told me that the girl didn't want to go out with me anymore. I never spoke to the girl and we never even held hands before she broke up with me. The most good that we shared together was smiling at each other in the hallway before she ditched me. I doubt she even remembers me since she moved away before high school started. I'm a 30 year old adult male virgin and that's the only relationship I've ever had with a girl. It's the furthest I've gotten romantically although not sexually. The furthest I've gotten sexually was at my senior prom. Although I didn't have sex or even kiss a girl. 
that's a whole nother story to tell. This hits too close to home. When I was younger I was more extroverted and handsome. One girl told me she likes me, but she's not into having a BF. I was into this one as well, and another one was crazy about me. Always telling me that she loves me, and want to be my girlfriend. And of course. That fucking nerd stupid fucking guy I was I turned her down. I didn't just turned her down. I was so much of a nerd, that the idea of a relationship scared me. She always followed me, and told me how much she loved me. Might be a red flag I know, but hey we were so young, that we don't even know what red flags are. That was a peak in the only existence of my love life. Last time someone told me they like me was like 8 years ago. I legit believe that someone liking me isn't possible anymore. Got introverted f. Messed up my family relationships. Got lonely f. Most of the time I hate my life etc etc. And I always wonder what would my life would be if I accepted that girl. And how my life would change. Based on thats end of rant hey man how are you? You okay bro? What are you doing wrong? Are you not putting yourself out there? Are you trying and failing or not trying at all? Something tells me what you're doing the latter. How's life? Tell us other story you stated. We care about you bro. I do. I know what it feel like to be undesirable for years so let us know how you're doing. And if you just wanted to talk to someone you can always hit me up.